Hi! Welcome to Cooking Simply Delicious. Each new year offers an exciting opportunity for a fresh start and new beginnings. Which is probably why we all look forward to New Year's Day. No matter what your goals are for the coming year are or how many New Year's resolutions you plan on making for 2021, ringing in the start of a new year is a moment to acknowledge, one, to celebrate all of your experiences that we survived from 2020, and two, to welcome the new year ahead. Cheers! Pancakes are the happiest comfort food. I'm sure you have many joyful memories of waking up in the morning, looking at a stack of pancakes on your plate. And now, as an adult, you are probably like me, always searching and trying different pancake recipes, happily eating your way on a journey to find the perfect pancake. Let's begin with making the souffle pancakes batter. Crack one egg and separate the egg yolk and egg white in a separate bowl. Then, add 3 tablespoons of whole milk, followed by 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Moving on, let's add 1 fourth cup of flour. Sift the flour over the yolk mixture and whisk well, making sure everything is incorporated. Then add 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Mix well. Whip the egg white until frothy and pale. Adding in the sugar in bit at a time until the white are whipped into a glossy thick meringue that holds a pick. Be careful not to over whip. Then add 1 teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. The most important part of this recipe is the meringue. If the meringue isn't right, the whole recipe will fail. You need your meringue to be firm with straight peaks when you remove the whisk. First, take one scoop of meringue and mix it with the pancake batter. Then add the remaining meringue to the butter and fold in gently using a spatula. In a low heat temperature, let's add a bit of vegetable oil to the slowly heated nonstick pan. Using an ice cream scoop, pour your butter into one spot, layering up as high as you can before it starts spreading. Then, add a few drops of water around the pancakes. I'll keep a small bowl of water next to the stove and put the lid on, cook for about 4 to 5 minutes. This is another style of making the souffle pancakes. A way much easier as it holds. These Japanese souffle pancakes are definitely a fancy, upgraded cousin of your regular everyday pancakes. They are pillowy and soft and have melt in your mouth texture. Let's cover and cook for about 4 to 5 minutes. As we all know that feeling of getting excited about a new cooking recipe, pouring your heart and soul, then sitting down to enjoy what you've made. 
but something went wrong. So watch this. These souffle pancakes definitely require extra time and effort. These are a commitment, so you really have to love pancakes yourself or whoever you're making them for. Patience is key, both when making the butter and when cooking. Hmm, this is my third attempt, but still not working. Let's try it again. Mm, it, this is kind of soft. Oh my, I'm gonna fail this again. Oopsie. We all have those moments where we want to give up. Those moments where we are either mentally, physically drained, or aren't seeing the results that we want. I'll admit, it's frustrating to work over and over and over again and not have the success you know that you deserve. But giving up is not the answer. Giving up is the easy way out, but it will not solve anything. Like the souffle pancakes. I know it's kind of frustrating, but I promise after that first bite, you will know it was all worth it. Give this unforgettable souffle pancake recipe a try on the next special occasion. But not this fifth attempt of failing. Really? I'd be lying if I said this is an easy recipe. It requires specific cooking techniques that can be difficult to get right. And it also takes a bit of time and patience. With that said, I don't want to scare you. There are definitely possible to make at home. If I can make them, so can you, right? And if you don't try, you can't improve. I probably made this recipe, as you see, seven times before I was really happy with the result. <laughs> I hope you can relate, but it is a great way to grow and improve as a home cook. There's no denying that a messed up definitely sucks while it's happening, but, 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 don't give up. After four to five minutes passed, Lift the pancake very gently. Woohoo! This is looking great. It's a celebration. Just because I fail not just once, but seven times, it doesn't mean I am gonna stop and fail forever. Of course not. Just to let you know, this is the same recipe I am just doing in a different way. A few more drops of water and let it cook for about 4 to 5 minutes. If you haven't tried that much talk about Japanese souffle pancakes, you must make this for a lovely brunch at home. Love isn't measured by material things, but in this case, the height of this pancake tower is a great measure. This floppy pancake recipe is 100% pure love. Oh yes, it was 100% pure love that I really worked on it to deserve this delicious souffle pancakes. Hmm. I love finding new ways to make pancakes. Indeed, they are very delicate, but they are so worth it to make. Look at that, so pretty. That's with powdered sugar. I don't claim to be an expert in Japanese souffle pancake, but after doing some Lots of trial and errors, I think I can say I make a pretty mean Japanese pancake. Now, for the fun part, I will say this took me a few tries to get right. Whew. 
Who can resist this beautiful souffle pancake? For so many attempts and errors, don't give up too easily though. We're going to walk through the main things to keep in mind when you're making these pancakes. And then, with a little practice, you can serve up the most gloriously airy and floppy Japanese souffle pancakes to someone very special. As cooking is my date. That is cooking simply delicious. Now that we can safely say that 2020 has passed, and while we can only reflect on the things that 2020 taught us to cherish each moment of life, to not take it for granted, to spend time with loved ones, to spec the unexpected, to overcome and keep going despite being faced with extraordinary odds. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. May this year bring new happiness, new goals, new achievements, and many new inspirations to your life. Wishing you a year fully loaded with happiness. As the success of every woman should be the inspirations to another. We should raise each other up. Make sure you're very courageous. Be strong. Be extremely kind. And above all, be humble. Thank you for watching. For more cooking and simply delicious recipes, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.